had the plantar fasciitis in the one foot, which is kind of a heel pain essentially. The thing with chronic pain is it's relentless. You need to work harder um, as you get a bit older. The body just is not quite as forgiving. And it, it becomes, uh, yeah, a major big full-time job almost, just sort of looking after yourself and doing all those healthy things that you have to do anyway. Um, you know, when you're sort of just in your daily life, but let alone having that added layer of, of pain. It's just there all the time. I have nearly come off a few times, I can tell you. I mean, just because I'm you know, a bit stiff and not that coordinated, it's taken a while to kind of get back up and get active. Mm. And, and I really, I was at roundabouts and a couple of times at lights where the camber of the road kind of goes like that and you kind of go, whoa. Show me how you normally do it. So you're left or right-handed? Right-handed. Okay, but you just got into the habit of using your left foot to land on. Yeah, normally you'd sort so of normally slow down you go and off then on you come, that. come down on that side, yeah. Okay, now try going, so. coming off on the other side. Okay. Yeah, so. so. So just in terms of the, you know, if you're used to getting off on your sore side and it's a habit, then if, I, if we were working together, I guess I would be really focused on mm -hmm. let's practice mm -hmm. coming up on the other side because yep. I think there would also be some value in just asking your brain to do that, practicing a different sure. way of actually a approaching a, an mm -hmm. activity. And of course, this is an activity you really enjoy. Yes, yes. So it's a great one to work with. And I'm doing it. That's yeah, great. I just did it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you said it, I thought, I'm going to try this. <laughs> Habits are patterns. And so the way the brain works is that you do something over and over and over again. Even having a pain experience, you're doing it over and over and mm, over again. Mm. And yes, because it's, it's yes. such a, a common thing or a, a regular thing that the brain does, there is a pattern for it. And so it becomes a very well established pathway in the brain. Yes. So being yeah. able to do something that's enjoyable that you're not having fun is really good for your brain. Mm. Um, and and I, you know, I think this should be a focus of work mm -hmm. you know, if you're going to do that right. rewiring um, right. okay. process. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in fact, anything that you do that you enjoy is mm -hmm. a really good activity to develop, which is why the mirror box is interesting. The mirror box is a, a gizmo that helps trick the brain into experiencing what is normally painful as not painful. So the idea is we have a, we have a box, we have a box like this. On one side of the box is a mirror mm -hmm. and into that box I put my bad hand. I've swapped all my rings mm -hmm. so that when I see the reflection it sort of looks like my bad hand because that's where my bad hand is but in fact it's reflecting the good hand. So it's a way of the brain experiencing what is normally my painful hand, but it looks like it's not painful. If you can actually experiment with a mirror box and, get, and have mm -hmm. the experience of your bad foot not in pain, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which you do just by um, changing perception using a mirror, mm -hmm. then it's, that's a really important thing to discover. Mm -hmm. Because if it mm -hmm. is, if you do find that you've reduced the pain by using the mirror, so you do it when your foot is sore, then you know that it's actually about a brain pattern. Given that you've had a lot of medical intervention, there isn't a pathology going on that we have to worry about. I think we've, yeah. just, we've established that. Yeah. And, and really now it's about re-patterning that, that um, re-establishing re a different pattern.